Hello everyone, it's Anahata. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. You are tuning in to another round of Pick a Code. Now, you all commented a couple days ago on these items, one, two, or three, but let's tap in now and check them out. Number one, this beautiful crystal. Number two, the crystallized wood. Millions of years old. And number three, another beautiful specimen. So just go ahead and tap in one, two, or three. Now, the timestamps will be at the bottom if you're listening in replay, and you can go ahead and fast forward to the one you chose now. Hello, group one shows this beautiful crystal. I'm not gonna uh, talk about the varietals since um, this is only a representation of the code that is behind this group number one. You chose an actual crystal called Smithsonite. Smithsonite. So as I go through what it is, Think about why you may have magnetized this specific assisting frequency and then we will install the code together. And I'm reading this information from healingwithcrystals.net.au. Smithsonite is a valuable emotional healer. It teaches you the difference between ego-based love with strings attached and divine love which is unconditional. It can assist you in being more expressive of kindness, compassion, and support. This stone is soothing for the emotional body and relieves stress. It cools anger and resentment of others. Smithsonite eases tension and dispels debilitating anxiety. It assists you in knowing that you are not alone in this world, even if you occasionally feel lonely. It helps you with leadership abilities, especially where you need to be tactful. And guys, this entire group of assisting frequencies, this specific uh, pick a code reading, I pulled the codes with leadership in mind, with motivation in mind, with wanting to really provide some medicine for highest good for those of you who could be heartpreneurs those of you who are uh, seeking to improve the world and actually step up and make that how you are supported, meaning it's not just a hobby or something you do on the side, it's actually your business to improve the world. I call these people heartpreneurs. Of course, you would be doing it for free because you love it so much, but when you can actually receive an exchange, that is a symbiotic relationship that grows and that can really put you into a place of ultimate leadership. So this uh, assisting frequency is gonna help you with your leadership abilities, especially where you need to be tactful. Because guys, you can have the mindset, right? You can understand what it is you want to bring to the world and why it's so important and you can have a burning desire and passion you can understand the, stra the strategies behind how to get there, what you, the structures behind how you're going to flow the information. But unless you have 
tactfulness, unless you understand how it's going to become a tactile component in the world, how you're actually going to do it, then unfortunately you're not going to get very far. So um, having leadership abilities um, that allow you to actually do and create and, and manifest in the 3D, this is what this assisting frequency is going to help you with. It's also going to nurture relationships. So if you are needing to uh, meet people, right, uh, and everyone needs to expand that if they are going to show up as a heartpreneur in the world, you need to continually be meeting people, uh, expanding in that way. So this is going to help with harmony, diplomacy, and removing any sort of unpleasant situations. Um, it's going to help you if you had a childhood where you felt unwanted or unloved. You know, when this occurs, uh, it does ripple over into your professional life. You're going to want to clear the effects of that situation because you need to feel loved and wanted in order to be a successful entrepreneur. Obviously, I'm not talking about ego-based love where you're doing things just so you receive in return. I'm talking about internal okayness and love of who you are on the inside in order for you to magnetize and feel your worthiness in the world. So this is going to help with that as well. It's going to be an emotional release of any trauma. Uh, it's going to be subtle though. It works on your subtle body. It's not one big jolt or upgrade. It's more of a gradual, one day you wake up and you just feel more confident. Now this could happen tomorrow, absolutely. But it's usually not uh, instantaneous. Um, it's a gradual evolution. Uh, it's also going to pr promote friendship. So again, uh, this year, especially at the beginning of the year, 2020, um, I felt this huge calling to expand beyond myself and to go meet my soul family and find people that were doing similar things. And so this stone is going to promote that exploration into new realms of friendship and soul family gathering. Uh, and lastly, it's going to help you with any sort of abandonment or abuse issues. Okay, these are obviously things you don't want to carry into the now moment. Um, lastly, I know I said lastly before, but I forgot about this one. Um, any interpersonal conflicts, any issues which are fueling conflict within your mind, this stone encourages relaxation so that you can actively meditate. Being mindful in the now moment, it's going to stimulate your psychic senses so that uh, you can move into the alpha state um, beyond the conscious mind and start remapping your subconscious, which is your default programming. So this is also going to um, support you with telepathic communication. So it's a very spiritual stone, aligning your chakras, strengthening your chakras, increasing your psychic abilities. Um, and it's gonna help you connect. It's a connector. As if that weren't enough, there's going to be an edge of tranquility and um, creating sort of a buffer, a buffering effect from life's issues, from stress, from any mental uh, breakdown that is feeling imminent. Um, so there we go. Let's go ahead and um, install. You may also receive uh, increased angelic communication your guides may reach out to you um it's a it's a very heart activating stone and it's 
simultaneously stimulates your emotional intelligence, okay? So this is understanding and being able to work through any emotional issues, any dense vibrations, a beautiful, beautiful stone. So if you chose number one, you chose, chose Smithsonite, Smithsonite. And let's go ahead and install it now. Simply place your left palm up and your right hand on your heart. We ask for, align with, and allow this Anahata code. With gratitude, we activate the assisting frequency for Smithsonite. 552-5508-0800. Five five four, five five two five five zero eight one six zero six five five four, five five two five five zero eight one six zero six five five four, five five two five five zero eight one six zero six five five four, five five two five five zero eight one six zero six five five four. Five five two five five zero eight one six zero six five five four five five two five five zero eight one six zero six five five four. Now place both hands on your heart and breathe with gratitude. It is so. So that's a lot of stuff that that does. Um, your body is going to integrate that wisdom automatically. There's nothing else you need to do. Uh, look for and celebrate the synchronicities as you see the attributes within that definition, which I just explained, occurring within your life. And if you like this content, definitely do like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any timeless Pick a Code readings. I hope you have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Welcome number two, you chose the crystallized wood. This wood, if you could feel it, it looks like a piece of wood in every way, except for it has turned into crystals. It's literally a crystal. Interesting to think about, right? Carbon from millions of years ago that is now turned into crystalline interesting it's so interesting it's very hard and it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous I wish you could see it better um, you know like a hundred diamonds they're all brown you know it's it's like a piece of wood gorgeous 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 one of my favorite things and it's uh, over you know a million years old beautiful specimen so if you chose number two group number two Veiled behind this is from the love-based assisting frequency category. It's simply the word unconditional, unconditional. And I wanna just explore this with you before we install it. And you know, the obvious definition is that it means there is no condition, right? It's, it's not, it doesn't come with condition, unconditional. So it's a prefix, right? A prefix goes at the beginning of the word and changes the meaning. When you say conditional, it, it means there are parameters. It's dependent upon, right? When you use the prefix un, it suddenly becomes not dependent on something else, okay? And whether that's love, support, surrender, if something is unconditional, there is no special terms or conditions, no matter what else is happening. That's the key, right? And now let's explore just one facet, love. Most of us, I would say almost all of us, live in a state of conditional love. And I can pr prove that to you. If you think about your spouse, your significant other, anyone you've ever loved, 
you tend to get along with them better when they are doing things that you like, right? Obviously. And so if um, someone is in your favor that you are loving simply because they do things for you in ways that you enjoy, they take you out to eat, they give you a back rub, they do the dishes occasionally, whatever it is, they pick the kids up from school, what have you, that is 100% conditional love if they decided yeah not gonna go on dates with you not gonna clean the kitchen not going to pick the kids up I'm gonna just sit around here at the house doing absolutely nothing you may begin over time to fall out of love why because the love you had was completely conditional in the first place so we all live in a conditionalized world of love where we love because of an action from others. If you look at love in general in your life, almost all I would venture to say, except for probably the love you have for your kids, is conditional. It's based on what you're receiving in exchange and if that exchange runs out or changes suddenly and or quickly, over time, perhaps you may feel otherwise and or less in love with whatever it is. It's just a natural response. So unconditional love is, although uh, it feels like counterintuitive, it is who we truly are. And you know, think about Jesus Christ. He was a, an amazing example hanging on the cross looking at a you know someone who was um in pain with him you know uh, asking um for forgiveness of those that were persecuting him because they know knew not what they they did right this is unconditional love this is transcendent of what's being done to you you are still in a state of pure love for the sake of love, not for the sake of something in return. So love is a res is, should not be a response. It should be the vibration. And I shouldn't say should. There is no should or would. It's just that's what unconditional love is. And so unconditional, without condition, that's what this code is going to support you with. Now, the codes are polar it's the totality of the definition so at the same time of of balancing you up into a resonance of unconditional uh support love um surrender whatever you know it's being uh activated for specifically for your um circumstances of life it's also going to unlock activation to the opposite end meaning is there something you are being conditional about if things are working out um, because of you know one reason or another and if they weren't working out that way you'd have a totally different mindset you're being conditional so in what ways can this word this definition of unconditional improve your life well in a lot of ways because if you think about it all pain is the wishing for something to be other than it is and so if we remove that requirement of anything being anything other than what it is at this moment that is the definition of being unconditional and guess what it's a painless way to live because pain is just wishing for something to be different and if you don't wish for something to be different you are truly uh, fully okay with in the now everything that's occurring that's the key to freedom, that's the key to uh, ending your pain body suffering. And so this code is going to sort of um, balm you and help you to do that. Um, let's see, I'm reading uh, vocabulary.com dictionary forward slash unconditional. The unconditional forgiveness you promised your brother means that you forgive him no matter what. You're not attaching any requirements, like you'll only forgive him if he's nicer to you or pays you money. You just forgive him, absolute. 
And so that's just one more um, example of what's going to be coming through. And as you see, it's similar to forgiveness in that when you forgive someone, you don't let them off the hook. You let yourself off the hook. So what conditions are you placing on your life right now that are causing some rub, some pain, some resentment, some animosity, some misunderstanding, some dis-ease? That is what this code is going to now remedy for you gently. So let's go ahead and uh, place your left palm up, right hand on your heart. We're going to install the assisting frequency. We ask for, align with, and allow this Anahata code. With gratitude, we activate the assisting frequency for unconditional. 140829 Now place both hands on your heart and breathe with gratitude. It is so. So thank you, those who chose number two. Do like and subscribe if you are interested in more of these timeless pick a code readings. I hope you have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Take care. Hello, object three, this beautiful crystal of which I'm not going to mention the varietal because it has nothing to do with it. Gorgeous matrix, beautiful points, and some pretty amazing little flecks of cubes in there. I wish you could see clearer, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous crystal. So if you're tuning in now, you chose this one, this crystal, and the assisting frequency that it represents is in the totem animal category. And specifically, this entire reading has been um, to help heartpreneurs, those of you who are uh, extending your magic into your actual business, those of you who want to improve the world but want to do so more than just a hobby, you want to actually receive in exchange and make it that symbiotic, growing, uh, nurturing, uh, bliss biz, then this was um, the timeless pick a code reading for you. And this third pile is all about finch, finch animal totem symbolism. Uh, we're going to install the code and I'm just going to read about it from sunsigns.org if you want to look up where I'm getting this information. All the assisting frequencies uh, are in the eye of the beholder, meaning whatever information you find out about the assisting frequency uh, you are installing, you will have access to activating, okay? It's resonance remembrance. It is the total definition from the quantum domain. Everything that's ever been described as finch totem animal medicine, you will now be able to activate after we install the code. And so this is going to, in part, give you uh, a little bit um, less scariness expressing your heart, okay? It's, it's about going for it. It's about not being afraid to express what's in your heart, what's in your soul, what you came here to birth. It's jovial, upbeat. And if you are feeling overwhelmed at all, either by negativity 
or just the weight of to do this is going to help you just find happiness as you are working so this is sort of like whistle while you while you work um, and finches remind us of joy appreciation high energy positivity and simplicity I love this combination because it helps you to go into simplicity and with simplicity there is efficiency okay uh, I call it microdosing. if you are doing too much biting off too much delivering too much it's just too much and complexity does not equal value it's just complexity uh, so the more simplistic you can be with your strategies your mindsets your processes that you're delivering that improve people's lives the more they can actually use that information now if you can infuse that with joy high energy positivity optimism that is the essence of Finch that is the essence of this totem it's also going to help you to um, be resourceful okay uh, resourcefulness is one of the biggest attributes um, ensuring success because everyone has the same amount of um, resourcefulness available and when we start making excuses as to things we don't have access to or the resources we don't have we are simply ignoring our ability to be resourceful which is two different things right we we can have all the resources in the world and still not be resourceful likewise you can have um nothing and be incredibly resourceful and use it to grow you know uh if you give one person 25 cents and he's very resourceful he can grow that 25 sense into billions of dollars absolutely or he could toss it away and remain penniless it's not about the resource it's about the resourcefulness so the totem animal finch also helps you to be mindful of your resources so that you can carefully and uh, responsibly take ownership of the things in your life and use them in a way that's going to align with your vision with your purpose rather than depleting them okay uh, it's going to also add variety to the mundane if you're an entrepreneur heartpreneur you know there's certain things that you put off or that you really don't enjoy about doing business because you're an entrepreneur you have to, to sort of roll up your sleeves and get it all done and do it so this finch medicine is going to assist you in um, making that journey less mundane and I have a hack for that and that is just the flow concept you know uh, set a timer for 10 15 20 minutes and try to do whatever you're doing to the best of your ability but but better than you've ever done it before that gets your head in the game that gets you there's a there's a game to it it's a gamification right you're like hmm this is interesting how can i clean the dishes you know more stellarly than i ever have before that type of thing suddenly you're very present you're not tuning out and it's not so mundane right so do play those little games with yourself because you will get the neurochemical rewards from it and you will also get things accomplished so the finch also exemplifies flight patterns unlike most birds who simply take the quickest route these songbirds make their journey into a dance twisting and turning throughout the air for no purpose other than enjoyment so this is my type of bird like yes you can go straight to where you want to be but enjoy it savor it 
take time to smell the roses, take time to stop and appreciate what it is you're doing because life is what happens when you're busy planning for the future or some such thing. And if it's all about the destination and you're not enjoying the journey, you will wake up in your old age and go, what the heck did I do with my life, right? So Finch is all about adding those beautiful twists and turns for the sake of joy and excitement and savoring life to its fullest. Uh, so again, it's all about joy, positivity, simplicity, freedom. Oh my goodness, freedom. That is why I do what I do, because I wanna work where I want, when I want, for whom I want. And so my why is freedom. So this Finch medicine is gonna be for you if you are having a hard time taking the leap of faith required to seek what it is you desire in this lifetime, in this space, and to go for birthing your magic, freedom, enthusiastic freedom with a little bit of optimism. That's what this Finch bird is. So let's go ahead and install it. It's an amazing assisting frequency, left palm up, right hand on your heart. We ask for, align with, and allow this Anahata code. With gratitude, we activate the assisting frequency for the totem animal, Finch. 928-327-928-411. Now place both hands on your heart and breathe with gratitude. It is so. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope that these three assisting frequencies have activated within you some spark of definition, which was remembered as I read through each of the descriptions. Now, just to um, remind you, you can install all three. Totally up to you what you resonate with or you can pick and choose. Uh, but do subscribe and follow if you want to be alerted. Tap the bell icon. Make sure that you're getting your alerts. Anytime an assisting frequency comes into your magnetism, it is not by chance. It is in answer to an asking vibrationally. Mind, body, soul, emotionally, mentally, physically, something spiritually is uh, being magnetized to you for a reason. Explore that, activate your growth, activate your resonance remembrance, and activate your evolutionary DNA. It's awaiting your um, response. And so I hope you have a great day. God bless you on your path. We'll talk soon. Thanks guys. Bye bye.